I'm about to react to, I think it's Chick Chick Chicks, ooh, music video. Now, I've never heard of this band or act or whatever, but I basically got the link to this because it said that the creators of Too Many Cooks, a viral video that I love, uh, I've even won the t-shirt for Too Many Cooks on a previous uh, reaction recently, so I just wanna check it out, I'm hoping it's funny. Remember when I called you on the... So far, I love it. There's like an odd Halloween kind of vibe to this, which is weird because it's almost Thanksgiving. Everybody's in different kinds of costumes. And then we have a, a hologram version of the guy. Almost like... Remember that uh, nightclub scene they had in one of the earliest Star Wars movies they had a long time ago? They're channeling that kind of vibe. And then you have a guy in a long sleeve t-shirt with like a patch on it. So he has like a Star Trek kind of vibe. Now the beat's kind of winding up kind of a slightly disco-y, dance, housey kind of sound. Dude, the art direction on this video is on point. Completely. And it's looking like it's like SpaceX or something like that. We have an alien on the drums. This guy looks a lot like Beck. Am I crazy? Google Beck. B-E-C-K. Huh? It's like the, the guy's on his smartphone trying to talk to his, his alien babe. But now she's not into him. I guess she's moved on. Okay, so now it's become more Star Trek than Star Wars, which is cool, I guess. By the way, technical note, their VFX people could have done a better job keying. Keying. What is keying, everybody? It's when you play somebody in front of a green screen, and you have to remove all the green screen and put the person someplace else. And if you notice, pay attention to this guy's hair, if you get a chance, and notice that, like, there's, like, a weird sizzling thing happening in his hair that's preventable that just tells me that the software that they were using wasn't tremendously expensive now we got the star trek ship spitting out fireballs and we got spock dancing this video is funny because it's like weird and the costumes are so terrible which i'm cool with actually like, because the beats of the song, I would not normally attribute to science fiction. So, this is cool with me. I don't see a lot of repetition in these shots. There's a lot of shot variation here, which I appreciate. And, um, now we got our blue alien babe singing along. Mmm. No life form detected. Dude, you got dumped. Find another alien babe. Well, I, well, I can't blame him. I bet the sex is really good. She probably has like three vaginas or something. She's an alien. <laughs> they never go into that. Like, if a human does have sex with an alien, it's just like, what's that supposed to be like? They probably have more of <laughs> what <laughs> we don't have more of <laughs> as human beings. All right. It was a lot of fun to watch that. I'm not familiar with that band at all. Uh, I hope they get bigger. They don't seem like they're the youngest of musicians, but they do have a good sense of humor, and they have good friends because the producers of Too Many Cooks worked on it, uh, who was produced by guys who work at Adult Swim over at Cartoon Network, so I know that the best of the nerds produced this. I will give this video, I'm going to give it, I'll give it an, I'll give it an 8.75. It was very well made. What could have made it better for me? I don't know, I guess if a celebrity was in it, and I know that's a harsh criticism to give somebody who does such a good music video, but that's really how I feel. I feel like any cameo by a celebrity would have elevated this and made the song more visible because I don't think that the musicians are that famous. I could be wrong. They could be. Uh, 
Tell me how you feel about this. Did you enjoy this? Tell me in the comment section below. Also, please like and share this clip and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Bubba Contagion. And have a very happy family time tomorrow.